This week on Pure Brews America, we try new things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, I broke it! <laughs> what are we going to have to do? And then we kick back and close down a highway for the shorts anniversary party. I'm Shannon. I'm Ryan. And we're on a tractor in Sawyer, Michigan, heading to Greenbush Brewery. Let's fire it up! Across America, the craft beer industry is exploding. I'm Ryan Terpstra, professional beer lover. And I'm Shannon Long, founder and CEO of Brew Export. Let us be your tour guides behind the scenes where we will meet the key players and the beer makers and learn how they turn their dreams into reality. We'll be traveling across the state to introduce you to some of Michigan's best beers. It's a craft beer revolution on Pure Brews America. Uh, in my opinion, it's the best uh, brewery around. Uh, the way they innovate and uh, they're, they're always coming up with something new. I love the beer. I love the atmosphere. I love the people. I love the food. I just like being here. You can come here and get really, really, really good beer and even if it's crowded, it's not too crowded where you can't come and have a seat and you stay however long you like to. There's just an atmosphere here that uh, really attracts a lot of people in. Not only from the local area, but, but the Chicago people, the Detroit people, the Grand Rapids people. You always meet people who you've never met before. I was a woodworker and I hurt my hand and I had time to kill and I, you know, my hand was messed up and so I started home brewing and people were like, wow, that, your beer is really good. Distorter was the fourth beer I ever brewed and everybody kept saying, you can sell that beer. And so, of course, the first person I called was Justin because he was in banking and whatever and I was like, and he's my friend and I was like, I have this idea. I thought it was great and I said, if you can do this with, you know, consistency and quality all across the board, you can, you can make a business out of this. Yeah. And at that point, I stressed the you. Yeah, and then somewhere along the line it turned into we. And just like that, two childhood friends decided to open a brewery in their hometown, which was not something they expected to do. I go back to a conversation that Scott and I had years and years ago, back before he was in Chicago, I was in Grand Rapids, and saying, so you would never move back to the hometown? But the argument ended that, no, he, he would not. Not ever, <laughs> never, ever. Yeah. Never, ever, but here he is. This is where we grew up. Yeah. And to see a downtown that is, um, you know, it's, it's alive again. Greenbush thinks really big with their beers, but they still have that small town value of hard work when it comes to getting things done in their production facility. You guys are in kind of a small space, but the amount of beer that you produce in here is insane. We are. It's pretty nutty. Uh, this is our six-head bottling machine. We can do about 60 cases an hour, a little bit over that, and we use this to supply three states right now. What do, what do you got lined up? You're putting me to work today. We're bottling uh, Dune Grass, our uh, Midwest-style IPA. We can get you filling some boxes. And All right, let's do it, man. <laughs> So this is easily the biggest glue gun I've ever seen in my entire life. It does a pretty good job. Yeah, this is pretty serious. Oh god, I'm getting glue on it. <laughs> All good. You're good. All good. It's sealed up. Beer's right. Oh gosh, I'm holding everyone up. We usually just have one person down here. Oh. I'm rocking it. I'm rocking it. He's got it now. We make a pretty good team. It's working well. I can let you take over if you feel confident. I'm feeling kind of confident. I'm feeling it. You're a good right. teacher. <laughs> I may have spoke too soon. In the theme of getting things done with your hands, we went down the street to an old church to make some sausage. Greenbush is well known for their food, and trust me, you have to try their brisket and other barbecue. So you're telling me you have the best job at Green Bay? Oh yeah, by I far. So. <laughs> uh, I get to come in and grind up pork and make sausage every day. It's fun. And a lot, a lot of sausage of, too. A lot of sausage. Like how much sausage did you make last summer? Uh, probably oh, in the tons all total. Uh, 350 pounds a week. Plus. 350 pounds a week? Yeah. 
it comes out right, then we put some tension right here and let that get tight like that. Okay. And then we we'll just crank until it comes out. We want it to be nice and full, but not too tight. And then we give a pinch. And then we pull out another link about the same. Then we grab them like this and go, woo! <laughs> awesome. And turn them into links, right? You want them nice and firm. Give it a crank, right. see if you can get meat to come out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, oh. I broke it! Oh. <laughs> what are we gonna have to do? This is simple. We just okay. take that and cut it off right there. It happens to me, too, so. Thanks for making me feel yeah. better. <laughs> First and foremost, we're a brewery. Uh, that's that's where we make our bread and butter. That's where we came from. I think we're considerably bigger than that. To people who are five hours away and it's like, why are you coming to visit here? Well, sure, you're coming here to visit because you want to try our beer, but you've probably heard a bunch of other stuff about what we do, you know? I mean, our barbecue can stand up to our beer any day. That's a pretty bold proclamation considering how good the beer is at Greenbush. Speaking of which, let's try some. Gin Grass is a, what we call a Midwest IPA. This has more of a malt backbone, I think. Definitely. Um, it's just more approachable. It doesn't hammer you in the face with the hops. Smell it. The aroma is not as, uh, as citrusy. No, it's a great beer. There are a lot of people that are like, and I think a lot of the patrons that come in here, Dune Grass was their first IPA. And, and not to say much about like the older generation, but they come in and they're like IPAs, and they tried Dune Grass and they loved it. And so um, it's just approachable. Star Chicken Shotgun. Star Chicken Shotgun. This baby. That one right there. This is actually my go-to. Um, this beer is outstanding. Um, citrusy. Much more tell, hoppy. Totally tell the difference. Yeah, no, there's a very Smaller. strong difference. Star Chicken took off partially because it's the stupidest name for a beer ever. And the label's great. It's a ridiculous yeah, label. And then it's backed by this really good beer. You know, like yeah. it's a very good West Coast IPA. Sessionable is not in your category. In your Six percent or higher is sessionable. Yeah, so like a six percent, that's sessionable. No, I love it. Boy, why do you guys do such just like high gravity, awesome, awesome beers like that? Well, like anything good in a glass, really. And I think to get there, you need a lot of malt, you need a lot of hops, you need a lot of just a lot more of the ingredients that are that are available and so it just so happens with a lot more of a malt backbone your your alcohol is gonna be higher. Comes with the territory. It does you know and you just gotta man up. <laughs> We're manning up. <laughs> so Doom Slayer so we actually use the sap in the mash-in wow. brewing process and then we use Michigan maple syrup um, to help start the start the carbonation process. And um, I think the flavor's outstanding. Talking about malty, it's got a nice malt taste to it. You can taste the maple. Oh, I love, maple. love this beer. I mean, it's kind of cliche, right? The people and stuff like that, but I think it really is like a vibe that's really cool and like, we're doing cool things. We're creatives at heart, and so, you know, that goes into your beer, that goes into your food, that goes into your marketing, that goes into all different aspects of our business. So our day at Greenbush included uh, playing in the mud at the farm. We also got to make some pretty delicious meat candy and drink some pretty awesome beer. It was a great day. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Yeah.